Tiffany Young, ID8TV. I'm here with the executive producers of the show Imaginary Mary, Doug Robinson and David Gracio. So first question, you guys, how did you both know that you wanted to be producers? Oh, wow. Uh, well, for me, of course, the, the producing part of what I do is being a writer first. So that was really, that's my first love is sort of being in a writer's room and thinking up stories with other writers and writing scripts. And the producing part is something you sort of work up to as you as you continue writing your career sort of keeps going. Um, so for me that was the first thing and it was just being a kid and um, probably watching David Letterman and realizing there's people who are writing for him on his show and realize, oh, that's something I want to do when I grow up. Um, for me it's the same thing. As a kid I just love movies and television and when somebody told me that's something you can do as a job, well, what could be better? So with the sh story's like quick and to the point, and I'm like <laughs> finding it. I, I wanted. To, uh, we're gonna talk about that. Now. Yeah. Okay. Next question. So with the show, the idea for the show, how did it come about, and then how did it? How, what led to it getting coming to reality, like bringing it to life? How did you bring that idea to life? Um, I, well, I as a producer, I meet with a lot of different writers and, and creators, and I had a meeting with Patrick Osborne, who had just won the Academy Award for his short film Feast. And I said, do you have any ideas you want to do as a television show? He said, I always have wanted to do a show about somebody who has an imaginary friend. I also produce a show called The Goldbergs. Um, and I always say no one's more in touch with their inner child than Adam Goldberg. So I was like, dude, there's a great idea for a show. You got to hear this. And he said, you know what? We should bring David in to write this. And David was like, you know what? I think I have a situation in my own life that might really work for this show. And then basically we just stole David's life <laughs> and added an animated character to it. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, final question. This is a fun one since this is WonderCon. Uh, if you guys could both pick a superpower, what would it be and why? Oh, it would definitely be to fly. It's, um, that seems like it would be the most invigorating. Uh, and, you know, once you're up, you don't ever have to come back down, which also seems enticing to me. You could read into that whatever you'd like. Um, well, since now I can't say flight, which was going to be my thing, uh, I would probably say just being invisible, uh, which as a producer is something you want to be. Uh, <laughs> nice. Thank you so much, thank you guys. You. Thank you.